one of the things we're all challenged with doing is we have our brand and we're trying to get our name out there. We're trying to get information out there and we're screaming it out on a microphone that's going to go flying everywhere. But we're not sure that it's being heard. How do we get to those rides? How do we get to the families that we need to get to so that we can let our product be shown and get there in the best light? So you really have to stand out and get noticed and so that you can get your brand into the hearts and the minds of those that are going to purchase it. And that you can also gain the trust and authenticity. You are in a business that knows that more than any other business. If you do not gain the trust of the bride or the family, you're not going to make it happen. It's better to milk the cows you have than go get new cows. Meaning, take care of the customers you have. Because although your particular industry, those customers might go on because they're not, well, hopefully not getting married again right away. They're going, if you've taken care of them, you've created that customer service at all levels of what you're doing, they will refer you, and that referral is critical. Making sure that you're updating your information on your website, on your Facebook, getting that information out. It doesn't have to be complicated. A simple who, what, when, where, and how, if something's changed in your business. Say you added, the, when, well, this was three years ago, but when you added the executive chef, you, added, you do a press release. We've added a new service, that's a press release. Now, it may not be picked up by the paper, but the reason you want to do that is you want that content, and you take your release and you put it on your website, not as a PDF, but as a blog so that you become uh, more searchable. That helps with your search engine optimization. You should have different campaigns that have different messages for different targets. And because of the technology that we have, we can search right down to the nitty gritty on exactly what you're looking for. If you only want to do weddings for brides that are from age 35 to 45 that live in the following zip codes and own dogs, we can do that. So really tighten it up as much as you possibly can so that when you do send it out your marketing materials, which are, you know, they're, they cost money, that you're sending them out to the right target and you're being the most effective with whom you're sending them out to. If you want to stay where you are, status quo, we're just going to do 3 to 5% of your gross. And that's what you should be spending on your marketing. If you want to grow, 8 to 10%. 10% is usually what we tell people when they're very first opening up and they're really, really wanting to grow. Um, a little hard sometimes to grow in this market, but that gives you a guess or an idea of where your money should be spent when you're looking on how much money you should be spending on your marketing efforts. Photos and videos. Caveat on that, photo, photos are like a blank page with regards to search engines. Videos are like gold. So. Um, you want to put videos and photos as well. Photos are important because that is the eye candy for those that are looking at your site. And if you're a photographer, obviously that's a given. But videos um, raise you up higher on the search engines more aggressively than photos do. All right. Thank you.